All right, I'm going to be showing you Blue Sky BIOS Cone Beam CT imaging software. Uh, it's called Blue Sky Plan. Again, it's by Blue Sky Bio, an implant company. And I just found out about this today, and it's a free software for viewing your cone beam data. So I figured I'd give it a try on first glance. It doesn't look quite as nice as I'm used to in Natamage. But this software is free, and so I figured I had to try it. When an Atomage and Simplant and other softwares are five, six, seven thousand dollars a piece, and this one's free, definitely worth a try. And even though it may not look quite as nice and pristine as with the buttons, and I think these big thick lines are kind of distracting, right away I'm pretty impressed with the way it scrolls. It's nice and smooth. That's one of my biggest complaints about an Atomage. You turn up the, the slice thickness so that you can see anything at all and all of a sudden it starts lagging and you can't scroll through this smoothly. So this goes pretty well. Uh, this is kind of the default view. You have Implant Tangential 3. So you have three cross-sectional images. You have an axial image and you have this custom slice right here which you can rotate by pulling this bar up or down. And that's really nice for implant planning. You pull this around 360 degrees around the implant, and you can make sure that it's completely encased in bone. So by default, it's kind of at a 90 degree angle to these cross-sectional views. And you can pull these multicolored bars around to pull through the cross-section. And again, it scrolls pretty smoothly. You have your 3D render view over here. And zooming is nice, you just right click and pull the mouse up and down. And the same with any of these. They work the same way. To move the image you have to have this selected. Move image. And then you can left click and move anywhere. Zoom in. Okay. And it does a pretty good job of selecting the the panoramic reconstruction trough for you. You can move it by I think I have to be selected on something else. So just deselect that. You can move it by selecting these squares. But you have to be in trackball mode to be able to engage these. And you can change the thickness. If you don't like your panoramic view, your reconstructed pano, you can click this button here. And you have the curved slice going around the teeth. Uh, this is another interesting thing here, automatic curve. Right now it's idealized for the mandible. You can change that to maxilla. And then it draws that curve around the maxillary dentition. You can blow up any window here. Choose the distance between cross sections. Uh, this is to take a screenshot. This just scrolls that up and down. Again, blow up. What's this one? Oh, change between the slice or the x-ray mode right there. And this, you turn off the slice visibility. You have similar things in other windows. You have a few more options in the 3D window, the 3D rendering. You have some pre presets. Let's look at our MIP. That looks pretty nice. That reminds me of an Atomage. Once we turn that up to high, and then we'll really challenge our video card. But it looks better. Let's look at the bone. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Once I turn that setting up to high, the 3D rendering looked a lot better. And you can blow that up. So let's also look at NPR. As radiologists, that's what we love to look at. You gotta make sure to scroll through each slice individually, and so we love the NPR. And again, I'm I'm just in love with the way that this scrolls so smoothly. I may start using this on a daily basis. easy to zoom. Once you have this selected, fairly easy to move around. 
and you can turn off these slice detectors whatever you to do that you go to view 2d if you want them all on select them one at a time and so here you have your lines showing where each of the slices is and then you can also scroll through as you do with the nanomage scroll up and down on a mouse wheel takes a little longer but sometimes you want to go slow anyway if you want to change the image contrast or brightness you can do that pretty easy you select this and then you right click drag up and down uh, you can draw nerves with this uh, this tool this turns the nerves on and off place an implant here I won't really get into the implant planning yet but I'll do measurements measure distance forever so anyway that's a real rough overview just kind of showing you how it works how it looks and for from some free software I think it's pretty nice I may actually start using it even though I have access to an atomage that's a blue sky plan in a nutshell I'm very impressed for being free software and again I think I'll start using it